Hey Virgos, welcome to your reading for June. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. Just a quick reminder, I only leave my email address in the description box for personal readings and my other services. I do not leave uh, my phone number in the comment section. That is somebody trying to impersonate me. Um, so don't contact them and you can ignore them or block them. <laughs> but just just ignore it, right? Um, let's see, Virgos. Let's see what we have going on for you guys. Okay. The Prince of Summer reversed. That's the Knight of Summers. The Princess of Summer reversed. Um, so the Knight and Princess both reversed. A new relationship or emotional experience falling in love suddenly. Um, both reversed. King of Wands in between them. Upright. I feel like this is um, you guys saying you both like, I'm not chasing you. No, I'm not chasing you. Who do you think I am to chase you? I don't chase things, I attract things. <laughs> so I think you are being very, um, what's the, I don't think it's stubborn. I don't think it's a negative thing that you're doing. You're just deciding I don't chase, I attract, which is very wise, okay? Um, the King of Wands says this is a wise person. I feel like you're being very wise in how you deal with this situation. Um, your leadership skills are needed now, an unexpected supporter of your cause. So if you're starting something uh, creative, um, business-wise, uh, you will have an unexpected supporter, maybe um, like a business partner coming in, somebody to help you out, maybe a loan or something like that to get um, extra support for your business here. Ace of Springs, wonderful. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities here. So love is kind of on the back burner because you're not chasing anything and you're not chasing anyone at this moment. Um, doesn't mean you don't have feelings for somebody or they don't have feelings for you. It's just like, I'm not going to chase, I'm going to attract, which very wise and very on the money what we're supposed to be doing. Ace of um, Springs, Ace of Wands in the normal deck is an opportunity not to be missed. So use this time where I guess you're not focused on love um, to focus on something creative. Uh, focus on your career. Beautiful career opportunities for you right now, Virgo. Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups, King of Cups. So again, put an end to the cycle. And I feel like you've took your rose-tinted glasses off. Um, you now have healthy boundaries in place. A long-term loving relationship where, you know, this could have been the person you most ever loved uh, may have come to an end with the Ten of Cups here. This is an end of a cycle here. It doesn't mean the love ended. I feel like um, you're in separation or something like that. And this is why we're also not chasing each other here, which I said, like I said, it's good. Um, a lot of people usually look at the time in separation or the time they're single as a negative, but actually it's a, it's a positive. It's giving you a chance to balance between the head and the heart where I feel your heart may have led you and got you in trouble in the past here. Um, you know, being overly giving, you've learned to stop doing that, the chariot. So now it brings success in for you guys. This is also a destined meeting that's going to happen. Um, whether this is with somebody new or somebody old. So because you're not chasing, you're actually, it's actually working, the attracting. Um, so that's wonderful. Whether it's new or old for you guys, I feel if it's new, it's going to come sooner than if it's somebody you already know here. Princess of Pentacles and the Prince of Pentacles. So it's good that you're both in this energy of moving slow, moving cautious, but building, right? You're no longer looking from this heart because we've seen the Prince of cups and the princess of cups now we see you both turn to the princess of pentacles and the prince of pentacles um slow slow but cautious wise action here again uh it's indicating wise action and you should be slow right anything that's meant to last a lifetime doesn't need to be rushed um so i'm really happy about this i know some of you might not be happy that this love offers coming in so slow but it 
gives you the opportunity to plant new seeds. Some of you might even be going back to school, changing career here, getting a new job offer that might seem like you're starting in a lower position, but actually um, it's something that you'll quite enjoy. It leads you to success and um, I really like that for you. Some of you who are going through a divorce here, um, you may find that children are acting up at this time, even if they're grown. <laughs> um, so that's something to be aware of at this time. I feel like um, somebody might stop talking to you, but keep pushing forward here, Virgos, okay? Like you said yourself, you don't chase, you attract what's meant for you here. And that's what I see coming towards you, what's meant for you. It's kind of like, like I said, getting taking the rose tinted glasses off or getting your head out of the clouds and really pushing forward. It's been a tough journey. It's been a long journey uh, with the Prince of Pentacles, but now you're more cautious to it. And you know, um, I feel like it'll go better this time you have success um king a queen of pentacles now so self-nurturing taking care of yourself if you have broken up with somebody or going through a divorce it may be that there was a third party involved here um because there's quite a few people in this reading a lot of you might find and this can be the supporter for some a financial supporter for your business coming in to help you out so an investor um like this showed them that you're passionate about it um, you know, and they will want to invest in your whatever it is here. Um, it might be that you are something in the showman industry, entertainment industry. Um, so you need to take care of yourself, your body, your health and things like that. I see you really focusing on those things. Really, I feel as we move towards... Um, the more earthly energy, uh, you'll start to feel more like yourself. So we see this progression here, don't we? The princess to the prince to the queen. Um, so I feel like these steps that you're taking, they're in the right direction. I feel like your guides are trying to show you angel numbers to show you that you're going in the right direction. But just trust in the process and trust in yourself, your own intuition. I feel like you're getting there. You may have learned through loss, but you're getting there. And I feel like it's a really important step that maybe you don't need somebody else to tell you anymore. You're trusting it now. You're more inspired now. Um, so go ahead and fearlessly pursue your dreams is what's being said. Because your dreams will be supported at this time. Maybe a little bit more than love. Um, a powerful manifester you are. You're manifesting things into your life. Um... I really like this reading for you guys. Um, your soulmate who's coming towards you, new or old, is on the same track as you. Because like I said, we've seen the princess and the prince and we see the princess and the prince again. Here you are. This is your ships coming in. Um, so this is good money energy coming in for you guys. What it is you want coming to you now. And I feel like you should embrace that and, you know, stay with the mentality of ascension, of happiness, Um I feel like maybe enjoying this time on your own and being happy on your own and loving yourself um, is leading you to this new abundance here. Um, princess of Cups. So this is when um, the Princess of Cups now turns around and that somebody is coming here to bring you some good news of love. Either they want to be in a relationship with you, they want to apologize to you here, um, something like that. They want to wear their heart on the sleeve. This is somebody uh, becoming very vulnerable um, and then declaring their love. So I, I'm, I'm happy that you've attracted in this love. Um, Princess of Cups, this can be new love or somebody apologising here. But you're attracting in all that's meant for you. And that's how we're supposed to do it, right? Um, the Devil card, maybe another earth sign that you're dealing with. Um, but they was probably acting like a bit of a water sign here. Let's see, could be a water sign that is also coming towards you, but all the signs will generally come out. So um, I don't really focus on signs in general readings. Uh, Empress, Eight of Cups, Prince of Swords now. So I feel like um, you're going to do, uh, if somebody comes towards you and your soul recognizes that they haven't changed, you'll cut them off. Um, don't walk away too quickly though 
somebody walks away too quickly here and they're not realizing the abundance. It can be that somebody walked away from you um, too soon and now regrets it and comes rushing back. Um, for you, you need to take no action, okay? Um, four of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles here. Somebody is weighing up their options. It doesn't mean that, you know, they're weighing you up. I feel like they regret walking away and never could let you go here. So I feel just the energy between the connection, if it's an old one, was stagnant. Or you being single, the energy was stagnant for a long time. So yeah, it's now going to start picking up. Venus is going to work in your favour. <laughs> There's Venus again, the Empress again here. Um, so that's the fertility card and this is you drawing everything in. Um, an opportunity for abundance here. The, the authority, this is the emperor. So you're calling in the one. That's good. You're attracting the one that's meant for you. Ace of Swords, Triumph and Success. Wonderful cards here because I really just feel like um, probably not a lot of Virgos need this reading because they are now saying, okay, I don't chase, I attract. I've done the chasing, I've, you know, been there, done that, bought the t-shirt and um, got me nowhere, got me in trouble, had me giving all of my love and then somebody retreating away from me. Now I see it a lot differently. Now we, we can see this going in a much better direction that you are attracting what's meant for you here. Moving on, six of swords there, emotional loss, missing somebody or somebody's missing you deception and envy seven of swords choose wisely so this could be somebody from your past coming towards you here and somebody new and if the past person you're over thankful for the lesson practicing gratitude i feel like some of you may walk away from them even if you miss them because you're recognizing your own self-worth with the fertility card here um with the empress card and you're attracting in somebody who's meant for you Okay, you see this emotional loss, but you take the lessons from it and that's your breakthrough. And then you start to move on. Some of you might be dealing with low self-esteem issues. Okay, with these sevens, these challenges, that's what's blocking somebody coming towards you. Um, and that's okay. It's okay to not be okay. We can recognize where we're at and then we can know where we want to go, right? So you can move forward in your healing here. Um, enjoying... I guess, your your independence, your freedom, your time alone. You might be alone, but those of you who have healed are not lonely. Those of you who feel lonely here, you will have this breakthrough, okay? Just choose wisely. Um, if, recognize yourself if you're not healed, right? And then if somebody comes towards you, your intuition will be able to make a good, healthy decision. Healing of family issues. We did mention that some who are going through a divorce, there may be some family issues coming up. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from other people. Finances and career. Yep, I told you focusing on financial issues and up, starting things up. Heart to heart conversations here. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This is your religious path. For some of you that will indicate they have a different religion from you, which was the issue. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so that you can manifest it in what it is you desire. Okay, Virgos, please do remember... I leave my email in the description box for personal readings, not my telephone number. I never will leave my telephone number. Good luck, guys.